going to subtract 278 from 445 using base 10 blocks and this will help us understand why the subtraction algorithm works or what does it mean when we use the subtraction algorithm what does it mean it will help our students understand the meaning of subtraction why we do the fancy things that we do and why does it always give us the right answer of course we know how to subtract 278 from 445 and the answer is 167 before um, let me let me try to go over how we represent these numbers uh, how do we represent 445 using base 10 blocks well I need 400 plus 40 plus 5 and how do we represent 278 well 200 plus 7 tenths 70 plus 8 let's see how we subtract let's erase all these highlights okay clearly I cannot take away this is we are talking about subtraction let's let's put this symbol here we cannot take away 8 cubes from 5 cubes of course we get negative answers but we're gonna just say you cannot take away a larger number from a smaller number because you don't have enough numbers so what do we do what are our choices well I can certainly do one thing I can certainly instead of four tens I can write three tens and bring the four ten here now I have fifteen cubes and I can certainly take away eight cubes because fifteen is larger than eight so let's go over the step once again I had four tens instead of four tens I'm gonna write three tens here or take one of the tens and replace it with ten ones. Ten ones plus five is fifteen. And I can easily subtract eight from fifteen. So let's see what that means. What I'm gonna do, clearly from fifteen cubes, if I subtract eight cubes, I'm gonna get seven cubes. So let's write it down here. I have seven cubes. Now I'm done with the first right right hand side column or the first column. Now I'm going to move to the second column. The same problem arises again. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tens here and three tens here. Recall we are subtracting. We are subtracting. So I cannot take away seven tens from three tens. So what I can do though is replace this hundred, one of the hundreds with ten tens. So let's see what that looks like. Let's erase this. We don't need this. Okay. So initially I had four hundreds. Instead of four hundreds, I write three hundred and I take the fourth hundred and break it into ten pieces. So ten tens is equal to one hundred and this one hundred is missing from here. So that's okay. That works out fine. Now I do have thirteen tens on top and I need to take away seven tens. Clearly I can subtract seven from thirteen and I'm gonna be left with six tens. I need to draw six tens here and let's see how we can do it. Let's erase the marks. So I'm left with from thirteen tens if I subtract seven tens I'm gonna be left with six tens. Well so I'm done with my second column. Let's move to the third column. I don't have a lot of problems here. I have three hundreds. From three hundreds, if I subtract two hundred, I'll, I'll be left with one hundred. So my final answer is one hundred plus six tenths plus seven ones or seven. So my final answer has to be one sixty-seven.